Good morning. It is day 13 of my 2024 Appalachian Trail journey. Um, I just woke up. I woke up at like 4.30 having to pee and I just wasn't ready to get up yet. So I slept for another two hours. Um, so I didn't sleep well at the start of my night. There was something that was just like walking around my tent over and over again. I'm thinking it was probably like a porcupine or something of that size. Um, and it kept me up a while trying to figure out what it was and um, being paranoid that like I had food or something in my tent. So I kept checking. Um, but yeah, eventually I just finally decided to ignore it and go to sleep. Um, but it wasn't for a little while. So yeah, no one ended up showing up last night. It's just me. Um, so everyone must have pushed further than they are planning on. Which is whatever. So I have 13 miles today. It's fairly simple terrain for the first like nine or so. Little ups and downs maybe. But I have a big like 1400 foot climb up and over Moxie Bald at the end of the day. Um, and then I descend over Mox, descend down from Moxie Bald to the shelter at the base of it on the other side. Um, so that's going to be my day. Um, the weather, I'm not entirely sure because I didn't reload it yesterday. So like the weather that I had loaded two days ago was that there was supposed to be some rain showers starting around like nine today going pretty much the whole evening it is supposed to rain overnight also so i will that stuff will get wet which is fine because i'll be going into town the next day so or that night rather so yeah i will check in with you when i'm on the trail bye hey guys i am on trail. I've been on trail for about an hour and just decided to do my check-in. Um, I'm about 2.1 miles in. Uh, like I said, been on trail for an hour. I am about a mile away from the west branch of the Piscataquis uh, River Ford. And uh, like I said earlier, the goal is to go 13 miles today and my feet hurt a little bit first starting out this morning Ooh, muddy um and I was a little bit worried about how the day was gonna go my swelling seems to have gone down quite a bit in my feet so I was optimistic that my feet wouldn't hurt but they still did a little this morning seems like it worked itself out for now at least um so i'm hopeful that that continues to be the case but uh yeah i intend on trying to push a decent pace from here until the base of the moxie bald climb so that way i can take my time going up moxie bald because it is like a I think it's 1400 foot ascent. So I'm gonna try to keep around a two mile per hour pace or faster until then. Um, I am slightly uphill all the way to there though. Um, Cause like the ascent up Moxie Bald is 1400 feet and my total for the day is like 2400 feet. So there is still a thousand feet of elevation that I have to do over the course of the first nine miles or so, although I'm about 500 feet done with it already. <laughs> so we'll see what type of pace I can keep. But that's it for now. I'll check in when I get to the West, West Branch to show you what it looks like. Um, I did get a little bit of beta from that female northbounder last night who kind of directed me the best way to cross, so. That's probably what I'm gonna do. 
but I'll check in when I'm there. Bye. Okay, so here's the West Branch crossing. So what the no-boy told me was your instinct is gonna be to go north, or not north, straight to this island here in the middle and then work your way around, but it's actually the deepest, like right here. So she said actually go out towards those rapids and cross over there. Um, so I don't know if there's a better way to access that or if I should just walk out and along the edge. I'm gonna go check it out back up on the trail to see if I can get down into the water from over there because you know, I mean, right there is a little deep. So let's see what we can find. All right, so I did it. I would say it was mid shin deep. Uh, so the trail came down here and I scooted out through this little grassy patch and up along the edge here, up, up, up. And then just before the rapids, there was a nice shallow spot that I just walked across. Really not bad at all. And I assume this is the trail. I hope it's the trail. <laughs> um, yes, there's a blaze. Okay. I think that there's one or two more like easier, more minor fords today. Um, but that was the one that I think is the sketchiest usually, but today not so bad. Alrighty, check in later. Okay, I just um, had another tiny little ford to do. So my feet got wet again. Definitely gonna have wrinkly feet when I get to camp today. Gonna have to let them air out and dry out. Uh, Cause I'm just, my feet are just wet this whole time so far. We're 6.8 miles in. Um, I've got two miles left to the base of Moxie Bald. And then I'll start a long mile. I think it's two miles up with 1,400 feet of gain. Uh, I'll start that climb then. And I plan to just take my time. Um, but yeah, I just had a little snack. Oh, well, I shouldn't say little. I had a lot to eat. Um, I had um, a beef stick and an oatmeal cream pie. Um, which I guess isn't a lot, but considering it's not lunchtime yet, and I'll probably still be eating lunch at some point, maybe on the summit of Moxie Bald. We'll see. Um, feeling a little better today mentally. I mean, I'm still struggling and trying to figure out just how far I want to push on the AT this year, but just trying to take it one day at a time. Um, right now, the goal is Karatunk. And then once I'm in Karatunk, reassess and see if I want to push to Stratton and then just keep doing it like that instead of being like, oh, I want to get to the main New Hampshire border or whatever, like smaller, smaller goals. Each and every town is a goal. But uh, yeah, I just had a really nice fall. It was caught on video. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in or not. <sighs> but I think I'm all right. Uh, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, bye. All right, so I am eight miles in. And I'm thinking actually that I did kind of hurt myself on that fall. Um, I think I pulled my left calf muscle a bit. I can still walk on it currently. Um, but it feels sore and a little painful. Um, I'm a little worried for this big long climb and it, and also more so worried about what happens when I get to camp tonight and stop 
moving it and have to hike nearly 15 miles on it tomorrow um, into Caratonk. Hopefully it doesn't get super tight and sore because that will be a rough 15 and I might even have to split that into two days if it is bad. Um, we will see, I guess, but I just got a little blip of service and was able to get a text, uh, a little back and forth with Jordan, which was a nice, um, mood booster, I guess. Bald Mountain. It's less than a tenth of a mile away. I was worried about the clouds. They looked like potentially rain clouds, but plenty of blue sky now, so I'm not concerned anymore. I'm gonna make my final push up there, have a pack and a sit break, have some snacks. And then it's two miles downhill to the lean-to, but I'll check in at the summit and show you the views. All right, so standing at the summit, um, those peaks on the background there, that's got like a double peak, those ones. That is Bigelow Mountain, that's the first 4,000 footer that I'm gonna to come to um, probably next week. Um, and then the crockers are in the background back there. Those are the next major mountains on my list on the AT. So yeah, this is the summit. Summit marker. Oh, here's another summit marker, one of them likely right but that's the sign there looks like there used to be like a fire tower of sorts up here there's old metal hardware Mountain. and that sign right down there is where the AT is so I'm going to go down there uh, and have a sit my snack break and to rest my legs, massage out my calf um, that I think I pulled. It's still bothering me a little bit, so that's less than ideal. But uh, yeah, I will check in um, either on the descent, like I said, it's two miles down to the lean-to, I'm staying at Bald Brook lean-to tonight, two miles down. Um, if I don't check in on the way, I will check in when I'm there. And I think the trail goes that way somewhere. Goodbye. point on far out. I forgot that this was here. Kind of creepy. I won't be lingering. <laughs> All right, so here is my tent site for the night. 
I went about 0.1 past the lean-to and I'm just camping in this it's actually listed as an official tenting area in far out um, just next to the river here was it bald bald mountain brook I think it's called um, really good nice flat tent sites um, there is a privy actually um, across the stream for this area which is super nice. Only downside is there are quite a few bugs here. Um, I did check out the lean-to to see what the situation was there, and there was like one or two really good tent sites, um, but it just seemed very like dark and closed off in there, and there was no one else there at the time. Um, I was hoping that a person or two from my group was gonna be set up there, but I did not see them, so I just decided to push ahead the extra point one to here. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be here for the night. I'm about to cook some dinner. I have macaroni and cheese, and I'm gonna find a bear hang, and then I'm going to hang out in my tent because yeah, the black flies here are just intense. Um, I have one just like hovering around me right now permanently ever since I've been talking to you so um, I am going to say goodbye and um, see you in the morning <laughs>